Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can add drawing tools and indicators to your chart on the Awanda desktop platform. So to start off, you'll want to focus on the bottom right-hand portion of your platform window. This is typically where the chart is naturally located on this platform. Now from here, you do have a couple options on how you'd like to proceed. As you can see in the top left here, this is where you'll change your chart type. This isn't exactly an indicator or a drawing tool, so I'm not going to really go too much into this. But as you can see, this is where you can change your chart type. By default, it should be on candlestick. You have things such as bar charts, closing prices, average lines, other types of candlesticks, as you can see there. So moving on. For the actual drawing tools, you'll want to focus primarily in the top right hand corner specifically the draw trend lines from here as you can see you have a typical trend line you can draw just left click and hold it will continually hold on to that one access point until you left click again heading back up here let's take a look at some of the other ones so that was trend line horizontal trend line as you can see just locks you in to that horizontal um, orientation there's vertical as well, so we can do the same thing there. Continuing on, we have things such as Fibonacci arcs, Fibonacci fans, Fibonacci retracements. I'm sure a lot of traders are interested in Fibonacci retracements. Again, you pretty much just want to left click your initial point, drag up to where you'd like to place your retracements, and then it will display over for you when you hover over your retracement lines there. Continuing on, I'll um, skip the fan in um, arcs, but as you can see, there's things such as pivot points. Just left click and it'll lock on, and then you can use either to the left or to the right. And then we have other things such as speed lines. And then as you can see, if at, at any time, instead of if you didn't want to, let's say, go in here and delete the line, you can actually just simply show what's visible or not by just activating these options down below. Each one does have a label, which as you can see, which will permanently put those labels on there just so you know the order if you place them in or if you have specific um, drawing tools for specific indicators or specific charts, you have a monitoring tool easily enough for you there with the labels. Now, like I just briefly showed you, if you right click on any of the drawing tools here, you can remove, duplicate, move it around, edit it. There's a ton of different things you can do here. You can continue to add on to your drawing tools. You could add different colors, styles, configure. There's a ton of different options here. As you can see, you can even line up specific prices on your Fibonacci to line up with your trend line. You can change your colors from here. You can enable the specific retracement lines you want to display. Same with the speed lines. There's a ton of different customization here. So that's about it for drawing tools on this platform for now until I moved on to advanced charting, which I'll briefly show you in just a moment. Before I do that, I would like to show you the study section or your indicators. First, we do have the price overlay display, which again, it's just a breakdown of the opening ask, average bid, high, lows, things like that. If you just left click it, as you can see, we'll automatically add it to your platform there in the top left. Continuing on before we um, move off of this topic, just to show you, here's the ask. And other than overlaying it in the top left, you do get that little price action on the actual chart itself. Now for things such as indicators, we have Bollinger Bands. They add them to your platform as you may expect. Again, with any study, you're gonna wanna right click to deactivate, just to see this a bit clear. And then now in the Bollinger Bands down in the bottom left here, we can click on this plus and that will actually add it for us. Just wanted to delete those um, price overlays before we put the Bollinger Band just so you could see it a bit easier. Let's actually remove some of our trend lines here as well, just to make this easier. Again, you just want to right click anywhere within that trend line, 
or the drawing tool and it will remove that entire thing for you. Okay, so now that we've cleaned up a chart a little bit, just wanna mention, as I said, it will overlay it in the top left on top of over overlaying your study on the actual price action of the chart. If you wanna remove that study, I suggest just coming into the top left, you'll see you have the ability to click it. You can left click it as well. BB stands for Bollinger Bands. You can modify them or remove directly from there. That way you're not trying to pinpoint on the exact point of the chart and then trying to right click a fine line. Makes it really easy that everything overlaid onto your chart is put in the top left first. Just to show you some other indicators, the MACD is available. Again, you'll notice you do have the points in which you can edit down here in the bottom left. So if you notice your MACD or whatever indicators for the most part won't put, be put instantly, to put them on your chart, you just wanna click that plus button and that'll add that indicator for yourself. As you can see, some indicators do overlay the actual price action of the graph, graph while some of them actually put them into their own separate window. This own separate window has its own price graph, as you can see, in it, the indicator itself, on top of having the ability to adjust the window size by left-clicking and dragging that gray horizontal line. Again, if you wanna remove this, I'll just left-click the MACD symbol in the top left and click on Remove. So I don't wanna go into every single indicator on this platform because that'll just take up too much time, but I'd also like to show you an alternative to this chart if you're not a fan of this chart or for whatever reason you've already gotten accustomed to Orlando Web or this, uh, this platform doesn't offer all the indicators you need. You can actually use a derivative of Orlando Web. It's called the advanced charting from this platform. It'll essentially pull in a chart from the Orlando platform. If you're familiar with TradingView, these charts are powered through that as well. But as you can see, it breaks it out in its own window. It'll bring over the same exact contract, I already configured it for you. You can trade through here as well, but we do have quite a few more drawing tools available to us and the chart is just honestly much more interactive. If you maximize this out, as you can see, let me move this over. And we do have videos on the Oanda web platform. So if you wanna check those out for more in-depth tutorials, feel free to take a look at our playlist for that. But as you can see, as indicators come, there's a ton more on this platform to utilize. Again, they pretty much behave in a similar manner. Let's click on the MACD. As you can see, it looks identical almost to that one on the Wanda desktop. But again, it just comes into its own section here. It's a bit more customizable, a bit easier to configure. If you come down to the objects tree, you can see everything that is displayed on this chart here. So you can just come into the sub menu and delete. Again, it just it's honestly a much, much easier. It does run through the web and through Java. So it is using its own resources or using your web browser's resources rather than the one from a Wanda desktop. You can compare symbols on this chart. All your drawing tools are on the far left side. And again, there's a ton more different drawing tools as you can see here. Some of these are actually quite unnecessary, but if you want, feel free to mess around and you can put the different symbols you may need Clicking on this now, as you can see, ton, just a ton more different things to put on your charts here. Things you may not even be familiar with, but they're available on this platform. Things such as text, painting tools. Again, you have all your Fibonacci retracements, your GANs. Again, much more on this than on the desktop. Don't want to get too much into it, just want to show you the different alternatives. Not going to go into too much technicality here, but just wanted to show you the options and show you all the different alternatives when using this platform. But that just about wraps it up for this video. We hope you found it helpful. If you did, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for both Owanda Web and Owanda Desktop content. If you have any questions, you can post them down in the comment section below or head over to our community forum, which I'll also post in the description. Feel free to take that link to our form and again if you're interested in trying a demo for either version of Oanda check out the description as well there'll be a link for that thanks for watching and we hope you found this helpful